everyone and welcome to another episode of Spirits of the Sea. I'm your host, Matt Hopi with Vacations for Canadians. If you haven't watched this web series before, what we do every week is we discuss one different cruise line every week. We talk about the promotions that they have going on, as well as we highlight one exclusive deal that we offer with exclusive pricing through our website, vacationsforcanadians.com, as well as our Facebook page, Cruise Deals for Canadians. Uh, and we wrap things up with a cocktail that I will make right here in my home bar from one of the bar menus off that particular cruise line. So before I get started with today's episode, I just want to say thank you to everybody for the amazing support that you have shared with me, whether it be through our Facebook page, whether it be on our YouTube channel. Uh, I just I really appreciate the comments that you've made and uh, the likes and the subscribes. Um, so please keep that up. Get the word out there. Uh, the more eyeballs we have on this, the better, because honestly, it's just more information for you to make an educated guess when you're planning your next cruise vacation. Uh, with that being said, I'm wearing some blue today, sporting the home team Toronto Blue Jays as the summer of the baseball gets underway, um, as well as the old Vacations for Canadians ball cap representing our agency. Um, but this isn't uh, by accident. I'm wearing blue on purpose because that is the color of this week's cruise line, which is NCL, Norwegian Cruise Line. So let's talk about the promotions that Norwegian Cruise Line has going on right now. If you aren't already familiar with their Cruise First Deposit Voucher Program, when you purchase a deposit placeholder voucher with Norwegian Cruise Line, the cost is $150. Now, you have to make sure that your sailing is at least four months or 120 days out from the time that you purchase your voucher. But when you purchase that voucher for $150, Norwegian Cruise Line will double the value. So that gives you $150 in cruise fare savings when you apply it to your next sailing. In addition to that, they have two other promotions that are running on right now. However, they are for a limited time, so you're going to want to act quickly on these. Up until April 10th, second guest sales free. Yeah, you heard that right. Second guest sales free. Again, this is only on select sailings, so you're going to want to make sure you contact your travel advisor with Vacations for Canadians to make sure that that one qualifies for the promotion. In addition, third and fourth guests sale for $99. Again, it's for select sailing, so you're going to have to contact your travel advisor. That's what we're here for. So reach out to your travel advisor at Vacations for Canadians to make sure that that sailing qualifies for the promotional offers that I'm talking about. With that being said, let's get to the pick of the week. Well, it should come as no surprise that my pick of the week for this week is the Norwegian Encore. That's right. It's my hosted sailing. Going from February 16th to the 23rd of 2025, this cruise is for two passengers and prices out at $4,633. It's in a BA balcony, but includes ultimate drink package, two nights of specialty dining, $50 of shore excursion credits per port, 300 minutes of Wi-Fi spread across two devices, prepaid stateroom gratuities, and $100 in onboard credit. Now, if that's not enough, don't worry, because there's more we're going to throw at you for this sailing. Because it is a hosted cruise, we will also be including a dedicated shore excursion that is exclusive to our Vacations for Canadians guests that are attending this hosted cruise at one of the ports that we'll be visiting during this sailing. In addition, we'll have t-shirts for all of our guests. We'll have special events on the ship throughout our seven-night sailing. And we'll be visiting the ports of Porta Plata, Dominican Republic, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, and Norwegian Cruise Line's private island, Great Stirrup K in the Bahamas. It sails round trip out of Miami, Florida. That's Matt's pick of the week with the Norwegian Encore, sailing February 16th to the 23rd of 2025. So for this week's featured cocktail with Norwegian Cruise Line, for me, it is a no-brainer. Anybody who's been on Norwegian Cruise Line, one of the featured bars that they have on their ships is the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar. My personal favorite. I love it. I go there every time. And honestly, I love their mojito menu. And I'm always open to try new and uh, experimentive mojitos. 
But at the end of the day, you always come back to Old Faithful, which is what we're gonna make today, the original mojito. Now, not only am I gonna make an NCL uh, mojito, but I also have the tiki cups that you can actually get with Norwegian Cruise Line. So a little added touch there because I purchased the tiki cups that they have on Norwegian Cruise Line the last time that I was on their ship. So we're gonna make a mojito right into our tiki cup from Norwegian Cruise Line. So I already have my shaker ready to go. First thing we're gonna do is throw in some mint. So I just happen to have some mint here, like I was actually prepared for this. Model. Add that into there. Now we're gonna add our ingredients. So, it says fresh lime. We're gonna improvise a little bit on that one because while I might have bought some things, I'm just not going to the grocery store to buy fresh limes for one drink. I do, however, have my simple syrup all ready to go. We have our rum, Old Faithful, Bacardi, white rum. And we top it off with our club soda. So we have our simple syrup, our lime juice, and our rum in there. So once we've shaken those up, now we're gonna pour that into our cup. Throw some ice in there to keep it nice and cold. There we go. And top with club soda. And then get a couple of mint leaves to put on top. Now with these ones, little trick that I learned is that when you have them in the palm of your hand, you smack them, it releases some of the oils from them, which actually gives it that real minty taste. So a little on the rim of the glass if you were gonna drink it without a straw. But me, I've already got my straw ready to go. And there you have it. One delicious mojito in a Norwegian cup. Oh yeah, just like being back on the ship. That's it for this week, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm.